Well, I showed yesterday uh, the fit. Beautiful. Uh, anyway, so I pulled out the, uh, put a new battery in my uh, digital calipers because I can read uh, metric with those. And I got this uh, sheet off uh, littlemachineshop.com. Uh, that's who I bought the backing plate from. Um, and it was 20 bucks before shipping. Shipping wasn't much. I don't remember what it was, but uh, uh, in hindsight, you know, it's kind of like, well, I should have ordered two of the darn things. But uh, anyway, the three inch diameter chuck, it says here that uh, most imported chucks have the, res the recesses of the following sizes. And so it's saying for this one, uh, 55 millimeters. So I just verified that it is 55 millimeters. I've got 55 on here. Um, you know, there's a point something, uh, point oh something after it there. So what I'm concerned with today is the bolt circle. Okay. Now they they sell these transfer screw kits. Okay. And that would be awesome because then you just put the little transfer screws in there. You know, put that on top of it and then just give it a little tap and you're marked and then you can just drill it. Because these holes are going to be clearance holes. They don't need to hold any registration. That's what this center boss is for. Uh, so they just need to clamp down. So it's better if there is a little room for play in there. But uh, um, So I've, I've rounded up my three Allen head bolts. And I'm doing Allen head bolts so that I can recess them slightly. Um, if you... Well... Maybe, maybe not. That's uh, That really makes it kind of thin to win there. Oh... Uh, And, and keep in mind, this is bigger than it should be. So probably going to be there. So by the time that gets turned down, that's going to be really thin. So, but I don't want to put, uh, I can't really put M6 hex heads on because I'm, whoops, I'm pretty sure they're going to, they're going to hit. Even if I were to use an open end wrench coming in from the outside, uh, they, they just might hit. So I'll have to check and see. Uh, and if these aren't quite long enough, I'm, I'll, I'll have to run out and, and get some new ones. These are 8.8s, which means they're the equivalent of grade 5. Eh, I'd rather have 10.9s uh, or 12.9s in there, but uh, so I may have to stop and pick them up. But these will certainly do for uh, what I'm doing today with getting it, uh, uh, getting the holes drilled and being able to test it and make sure everything fits. So on the paper here, there says that most imported chucks have... Uh, M6 bolt size, those are M6, and the bolt diameter, the circle diameter, is 66 millimeters. So I'm still in preparations here for uh, drilling the bolt circle on the backing plate. And the M6, it will go into a 15 64 hole. It's really pretty close. So if I'm off at all, those bolts are going to be pushing the sidewalls of the, the holes uh, around a little bit. So I want a little bit more play than that. And there's there's two reasons. So it, it, it comfortably fits in the uh, quarter without being, you know, sloppy loose. Uh, the other reason I want to do that too is because to hold rigidity and accuracy, I want to use one of my quarter inch stub drills directly into the collet. But uh, one thing I thought I'd point out too is, you know how your drill spins in a normal chuck? A lot of times you get little burrs around here and that stuff. If you're going to do this and put it directly into the chuck, make sure you don't have any of those burrs, okay? Uh, it might damage the inside of the collet, but it will also put your drill bit in there skewed. So, I put the aluminum in. Uh, there, there's, there's a bunch of different ways I could have done this. I could have clamped it directly to the table, um, and then I would have had to have clamps, you know, and, and drill around in between the clamps. Um, that would have been fine. I could have, if I was going to recess them, which I've decided I'm not going to, I've got tons of clearance, and I can, I can always uh, flip them over and, and do some counter boring and stuff like that uh, after the fact. Uh, anyway, the aluminum is in here so that there's a little squish, okay, and that'll hold the uh, backing plate in here. Uh, this is only cast iron, but I, you know it's going against hardened jaws, and I don't want uh, that 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 limits the contact point to such a small area that you could easily be able to turn it uh, and flip it. Now I'll probably leave the. They're not in there extremely tight. I could pull them out. It, I just got to watch where the drill bit's going. Okay. Um, in fact, I'll pull them out now and let's let's see here. Oh yeah, that's definitely solid enough. I can drill out here and not. 
twist it and push it. Okay. Um, and if you see, I've got the, the collet and the drill in the bit in here. The other reason I'm going this route too is because I'm lazy and I would have to raise the, the mill head up uh, to put the drill chuck in here. I'd also have to change out the uh, spindle bolt, the uh, hold down bolt, because uh, the drill chuck I have, that arbor, is uh, uh, a different uh, thread pitch than the one that's in here. So. So, actually I need to change this out again and put the, uh, well, I don't have to for doing the edge finding. It would be better if I did the edge finding uh, with an edge finder, but the outside here should be concentric enough. I can touch the drill bit against it and everything. And that'll certainly put me within a, a thou or two. We'll see how it comes out. Worst case scenario, I ruin a $20 adapter and got to buy another one. Well, I'm going to record this in case I get lucky and pull it off the first time. I am uh, i haven't set up a bolt circle on here in forever. Seems I had to pull out the instructions last time. Okay, so I, I have my zeros. Let's, uh, let's push the bolt circle. The radius, I'm in millimeters. And the radius of the circle is, yeah, is whatever I kick the camera to. Radius is, okay, so the radius is uh, 66, or not 66, the diameter of this bolt circle is 66. So I want to take half of that, so 33. Um, so, 33, enter. Uh, start angle. I'm going to put down zero. If if it was important where it went, uh, you know, because they're going to be 120 degrees apart. But I start at zero, it'll figure that out. I don't have to figure out that I, you know, I could tell it to start at 57 and a half degrees if I knew I needed it right there. And then it would give me the 120 from each of those. Start angle, I could do it at 45, I could do it at 120, uh, but I'm going to put in zero. Okay. And uh, end angle is that end angle? That'd be 240, I think. Okay, hold numbers three direct, direct what? Hmm. Okay, hole number one. Okay, so the Y is gonna, yeah, Y is gonna stay there. And let's see if this will widen out enough. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna bring the X over to here. Whoops. Okay, you know, and that looks uh, pretty darn close to where it's supposed to be. So I think what I'm going to do just for the sanity check, basically, is I'm just going to leave a little mark there. Uh, and I'm going to jump around to the other three holes and, and double check those. <laughs> it's definitely getting loud, isn't it? Okay, so then let's go to hole two. And I get to go to Y, zero here, and four. Oh, it's, yeah, so it's taken me, oh, that's, yeah, it's going to be over there. That's right. All right, that'll probably jump again. Hole three. 
and that should be zero on the Y, or uh, zero on the X rather. And just run it all the way over. Last purdy, huh? Yeah, I like that. Well, I'm still in position for this one, so I'm going to fire it back up, drill that one, and then I'll step back through the other two and, and drill those. And, you know, think about it. If it's, if it's off too much to work, you know, I can reposition this or drill another one. I could just tell it another bolt circle 45 degrees off and, you know, drill it right in between the others. So, this ought to be uh, good enough, though. For as close as they are here, I may have to do the counter boring, you know, like with a half inch, uh, a three eighths inch end mill, just to cut a pocket in the side here, a little notch, so it'll sit, uh, especially down at that bottom. I could just put it in the lathe and cut that radius. Oops. Here's the concern. You know that hits the that hits the radius. It doesn't hit the side wall. So rather than trying to set it back up in the mill and and mill that off. I could set it up in the lathe and turn this diameter down, but really all I need to do is just cut that radius off a little bit. So I think that's probably what I'll do, but I'll, but I'll do it on the, on the big lathe because that doesn't affect mounting surfaces, concentricity, anything like that. It's just for clearance for the bolt head. All right, to chamfer these holes, I don't have a countersink small enough, that I know of. Uh, and once they're tightened down, you know, you're never going to see them or anything. So I'm just using a slightly bigger drill bit just to, just to cut that burr off of there. I did use the countersink on this side. Um, could use the drill bit again. And if you happen to notice that, that burr right there, I'm really not too concerned with that burr because that's behind the chuck. Okay, this is the edge that you have to worry about threading onto the lathe. I'm sure A-bomb doesn't have a clue who I am, so this is not A-bomb approved. <laughs> I'll, tell them, I'll tell them Tom Lipton told me it was okay. <laughs> and it's, it's out proud of the jaws, so... I can use this tool. I think I got it. Um, okay, my cut is just a tiny bit recessed to this face, so that's that's perfect. I just didn't want it proud. Okay, cool.